it's uh, definitely not what I'm used to from North Jersey, but it's still nice for the little kitties, I guess, and for these people that like to exercise and stuff. Um, but fortunately for me, I am not one of those persons. <laughs> organic pumpkins and pictures with Elmo and whatnot. But whichever. What are you gonna do? that uh, you, you can't hear anything so hopefully now I got this little wind guard on here it'll be a little bit better um, counter steering is how you lean the bike um, you could say that you you, you you lean the bike by leaning your body or by, by, by moving your feet um, the, the best simplest and safest, safest way to lean the bike is by counter steering Counter steering means that um, to to uh, to lean the bike to the to, to make the bike go to the right, um, you're going to pull your left hand. Um, meaning, pull the hand grip towards you. Um, when they say push, they don't, they, 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 do, they, whoever they may be, they do not mean to push down towards the ground. You, you must push forward uh, or pull back towards you. Uh, the simplest way to remember counter steering is to pull, uh, to go right, push right, to go left, push left. So I want to make the bike lean to the right. Here's my left hand. I'm going to take my right hand and push forward uh, towards the mirror, and here's the line, and it goes to the right. Now, the counter steering is if I want the bike to go to the left, I pull back on the right hand grip like that. Okay? Um, so, if, if you want the, the bike to, yeah, I mean, you could do either way. Uh, it's just easy to remember, you know, the similes uh, to pull right, uh, to go right, push right, to go left, push left. Um, for a 90 degree turn, like I'll make this 90 degree turn here. This, uh, now I'm going to catch the red light, but what you do is you counter steer going into the turn. Let me see if I can get this down real fast. Uh, you counter steer going into the turn, uh, up into the apex. The apex is the 
uh, the crest of the turn, the, 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 the middle of the turn, the, the point where uh, you, you, sh you are closest to what you're turning around. So I counter steer and then I lean into the turn while I'm turning the wheel into the turn, see? Okay, so, so I'm gonna counter steer. This is a left and then a, a right and a left bend. So I'm gonna push to the right. I'm gonna push towards the front mirror to make the first turn. And like now, and I'm gonna push to the left to make this turn. Now I'm also pulling on my right. So I'm pushing here and I'm pulling here. Uh, and that, that gives you a lean. So right, left. And all, all I'm doing is just pushing a little, maybe, I don't know, may, maybe about an inch or two forward. It's it's not like I'm, I'm shoving the handlebars forward. Um, it's uh, it's it's more like just a uh, more like just a gentle push. Um, let me see if I can. Um, it's more like a this kind of a, a thing. So it's like you know seriously, just like an inch or two. Uh, just to make that that weavy swerve back there. Um, if you're trying to make a quicker swerve, if you want to lean uh, more, then you push more. Um, and and you could even see it how if if I, if I if I loosen my feet up on the ground and, and I push forward, how the bike leans to one side. Uh, and then I straighten the bike out. And I push to the other side, and the bike leans to the other side. There's empty space there. Um, that's basically the. Uh, the physics behind counter steering is that you have two gyroscopes in motion. Uh, a gyroscope is, is, is a perpetual motion object that stays vertical because of the spinning motion. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of like the Earth, but not really. <laughs> um, almost like a top, you know. <clears throat> um, so what happens is your 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 the gyroscope always wants to continue going. So in, in the case of a motorcycle, the, the tires want to continue moving forward and also they want to continue staying vertical. Uh, so what happens is if when your, your back tire always wants to continue moving forward and it wants to stay vertical, and once you move your front tire, now there's empty space here. And what that does is that, that when, you, when you turn your front tire to the, to, towards the left, the, bike, the back wheel pushes the bike through that empty space and the bike leans. Uh, and conversely, if you turn the, bike, turn the front wheel to the right, there's empty space to the left, the back wheel pushes through the bike and the bike falls into that empty space. Uh, that, that's like the, uh, the uber simple down version of the physics of counter steering. Um, but but uh, practice it. I mean, it, it's a necessity for 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 turning, swerving, leaning. Uh, you you got to learn counter steering. Um, but it, but it's a cool it's, it's a cool <laughs> it's a good uh, tool to learn because uh, you're gonna use it 400 times every time you get on the bike. So uh, just just remember, do not push down. Uh, if I if I push down. You see that uh, as as compared to the curb there, I'm pushing down. The, the the hand grip is not moving at all. If I push forward, the hand grip moves because that that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, this is not for supporting yourself while you're on your motorcycle. This is for steering, for turning, for leaning. Uh, so remember, if, when you push right to go right and you push left to go left, uh, re remember to push forward towards the mirror. And, and again, just a nice simple push towards the mirror. You don't have to throw the whole, you know, you don't have to completely stiffen your arm up and throw the, throw the, uh, the hand grip all the way out there. But uh, definitely practice it because you're going to use it a lot and uh, like I said, it's a great tool to have. Uh, and you're going to need it for your uh, motorcycle test also. So be safe.